Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and in this video, we're going to be doing the Choi Le Fat footwork with the flute. Now, if you don't know the Choi Le Fat footwork, check out in the link down below. Um, I, leave, uh, I leave links to all of the Choi Le Fat footwork plus training, so you can learn the footwork, you can do it with hand strikes, you can do it with broadsword, monk, spade, double daggers, uh, snake, and so on from there. Um, now, also, you'll notice that I just have a piece of bamboo. This is up to you whether you want to use a flute or not. The idea of uh, Choi Le Fat flute is having a weapon of self-defense for you know, somebody who plays the flute. If you have it around you, you could just pick it up and use it. But the same principles apply to using a short stick. So it's often taught as short stick techniques. Now you can use a solid stick like Eskrima or you can use a piece of bamboo like this if you want to have that more traditional look. But the same things will apply and this is a great weapon to explore for self-defense. Okay, so let's go get to work. Okay, so we're gonna start this one from a cat stance position. I have my right foot forward, I have the weapon in my right hand. And then I'm gonna do an upward scoop. Now, I could be hitting the opponent's wrist. Um, if their hand is closer, if they have something in their hand, I can try to hit it out. Or if I'm just attacking them, I can think of striking towards the chin. So I come upward here. Now I'm gonna take a step forward, and we're gonna strike horizontally across whatever is available. If their arms are up, you can hit towards the ribs. If their arms are down, you can hit towards the throat or the side of the face or straight on. If I'm in very close, I can use the butt end of the weapon and then strike either straight on towards the solar plexus or I can come across, hit towards the ribs, the face, the throat, all of that's available. So it's really whatever is available in striking. Okay, so we have up, forward. Okay, again, cat stance, up, step in, and then strip. Now from here, I'm gonna bring my hands up and over. You can do the same timing for up and over, or you can spread that apart. But I'm gonna bring it back and set the weapon up as I step away. One more horizontal strike across here. Okay, so again, up, horizontal, over the head, horizontal again. I'm gonna bring it like a broadsword, cut to the arm around the head, and I'm gonna hit the ribs here. Okay, so again, up, horizontal, over the head, horizontal, bring it to the arm, raise both up, go around the head, and then hit horizontal to the other side. Again, ribs, head, elbow, whatever's available, that's where you're striking. Okay? So, one more time from this position, up and over, hit, cut to the arm, hit. Now from here, I'm going to place my palm behind, and I'm gonna press upward and outward, okay? This can be used as a block, or it can be used to strike. I can come up underneath the chin, and hit towards the throat, and press here. Sometimes you can use this, to, if they're grabbing onto the weapon, to raise it up out of the way, so you can throw a knee or a kick, okay? So again, from this position, we're gonna step back, press up, okay? So after I come around, step back and press up. Now, I'm going to withdraw my foot, hit to the head, or straight in towards the face. Okay, so again, one, two, all right? Now from here, bring it back. We're gonna kick and poke at the same time. If you poke them in the face, great. If you kick them and the poke gets blocked, great. If you get them with both, even better, okay? We're really looking to land one strike, but we're trying to attack with two at the same time to ensure that one hits. Okay, so again, I retreat back, pick the face, poke and kick. And I'm gonna step forward and then come back down this way. If I get blocked, I just roll the hand over. That's the idea, okay? So again, from where I came back around, block, pick, poke, and down right here, okay? Now from here, it's very simple. We're gonna get back towards our beginning. I'm gonna bring my left foot forward cat stance. I'm gonna come upward from the left to the right. And then I'm gonna go right foot forward cat stance. And come up from the right to the left. And we find ourselves at the very beginning again. Okay, so again from that kick, come down. Bring it back, cat stance, cat stance. And then again, we're in the very beginning.
Okay, so there you have it. A lot of these strikes are going towards the joints of the body or the vulnerable places. So we're aiming for the fingers, the wrist, the elbow, the knees, the shins. We're aiming for the head where you want to hit the top of the head or the temple, underneath the chin, or even the throat. So a lot of good places to strike if you don't have a sharp edge. And when you get that good snap on there, this will be a very effective tool of self-defense. Now, again, if you haven't seen the footwork video, I go into full detail and that video is down below in the description. I also have other videos that use the exact same footwork so you can explore different things from the Choi Foot system using the footwork as a base. If you like any of these movements, do them, practice them. You can loop this and then you can also add to it. So if you have something that you really like to do, you can build upon that and eventually you can have your own form the, for your own practice and your own training. So it's a nice way to explore this weapon and the system itself. All right, if you guys like this video, hit that like button down below, and as always, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bye.